Hello, my name is Michael Main, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to create a Google Alert so you're not missing out on the information you find important. There's so much information available on the internet right now that it's easy to become inundated with information you don't find valuable while missing a lot of the pieces of information that you do want to keep track of. This is really good for keeping track of your name. So whenever you write a blog post or somebody writes a news article or something, wherever your name pops up is really good to know what's being said out there. It's also good for keeping track of special interests, hobbies, professional interests, personal interests, whatever the case may be. So um, this is why I use Google Alerts. It allows me to have that daily digest of things I find important. So we'll start by going back to google.com forward slash alerts. And then you put in the search that you, whatever the keyword is or key term is that you would like to search for. One thing I do like to point out here though is if you're searching for your name, it's good to put your name in quotation marks. So it only pulls up search results that include your entire name. Otherwise, if you say, for example, my name is Michael Main, if I put in Michael Main without quotation marks, Google will, will show anything that has Michael or Main in the search result versus Michael Main. Anything else is pretty much okay. <clears throat> so once you've entered your, your search query here, I'll just go ahead and go back to uh, social justice, actually. That's something I'm interested in and care about. Again, I'll put those in quotes for this example. Uh, once you have that, you can search by everything that Google would, would uh, show, by news, blogs, videos, discussions, and books. And you can receive these either as they occur, as they show up in Google, or once a day, or once a week. And again, you can show it only the best results or pretty much any result that Google will bring back. Put in your email address, and that's it. You are done. It's really that simple. If you have a Google account or Gmail account, you can manage alerts, so you can add several different strings that you want to search for and get a digest however often you want that shows anything that you're looking for. So I find that really easy to keep track of a lot of different types of things, and it's really, really that simple. All right, let me know if you have any other questions or comments, and you can reach me here on YouTube. You can also reach me at Twitter at Michael B. Main, and that's it. You guys have a good one. Take care.